Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, man? Once again, it's your man in a hundred grand. It's your boy, Doc G, man. They're doing a late night video, you know. Motherfucker can't go to sleep, <laughs> but motherfucking, you know, um, the year is 2023 right now. And I've noticed this year, a lot of people are getting divorced. A lot of people are are just calling it quits, man. Like, <laughs> I, I literally had to write a list of, like, all these celebrity people that y'all might know who got divorced. And, you know, um, I'm going to I'm going to go over, you know, some of the possible reasons that that these people have gotten divorced. And why I, why I tell guys, man, you really need to be cognizant of the woman who you marry if you decide to get married at all. I think a lot of people enter into marriage without really knowing how serious that shit could be. You know, they say these vows, you know, to sickness and health, till death do you part and all of that shit. And it sounds cute because it sounds like the shit you say in the movies but you don't deal, you don't it's like you don't understand what it's like to deal with a woman 24/7. You don't know what it's like to deal with a partner and deal with her while she's on while she's mad, while she's on her period, you know, um when she when she's just bitchy, when she's when she's not looking 100%, when she's getting fat, you know, or you know or whatever y'all differences y'all have you know, keep in mind, you gotta, you can't just leave the house because you married to this woman. So that means you gotta deal with that shit 24 7, and that could be a difficult thing to do. So let me just bring up the first divorce that I just heard about recently. And that's the divorce of Young Jeezy, who, who's a rapper. I'm sure y'all know that. Young Jeezy. And Jenny Mai. Jenny Mai is an Asian chick who's um she's the Asian chick on that um that talk show called The Real. And it's you know basically um basically it's her and like three other women who also can't keep a man to save their lives. And they 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 get around they have this little fucking circle where they talk shit about men and this is what they do all day every day. So I, I ain't gonna lie, I saw that shit coming a mile away. Because while Jenny Mai may be fine as hell, because she looked good as fuck. And, and, and it's rare for me to say that for a woman that's 44 years old. Um, while she may be physically fine, which you'll see that a lot of women on this list that I'm about to name, a lot of them may, may be physically fine. But as far as like being wife material, as far as being truly submissive to her man, a lot of these women are so hyped up on this hyper individualism shit that we got here in America. They're so fucking hyped up on I can't I don't need a man and shit that they don't know how to build. They don't they don't know how to build a partnership. Which is a lot of the reasons why these goddamn women have gotten divorced. Jenny Mai specifically has literally gone on record multiple times, self-admittedly saying that she has an attitude problem. And that her husband, Young Jeezy, had to check her about that a few times because prior to Young Jeezy, she was married to a white dude for like 10 years and she walked all over him. You know, she actually cheated on that dude with Young Jeezy. And goddamn, you know, and <laughs> it's like, how did you think that was going to work out? So there's that. So, I mean, you know, you got a fucking woman that's that's basically on a fucking talk show with a whole bunch of man-hating assholes. And you knew she wasn't going to be able to keep a fucking man. She, you, you knew she wasn't going to be able to keep a husband. Especially a dude like Young Jeezy, man. Like, he ain't going to take that lip off no fucking woman. And she thought simply because 
oh, I'm an Asian chick, or I can pull a black dude and he'll, you know, and, and you know, I can basically do what I want because I'm an Asian chick and he'll take more shit from me than he'll take from a black woman. Young Jeezy was like, hell no. And um, he's the one that actually filed for divorce. So, um, you know, <laughs> there's that one. That's the first divorce. Then you got the second divorce, which is Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson. Kiki Palmer is an R&B chick. Um, she's an R&B chick that, you know, she, I don't know if y'all know her or not, but basically she went out to a Usher concert in Las Vegas with her butt cheeks out and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, flirting all with, flirting with Usher and all up on him and, Keep in mind, this woman got a whole husband at home and a, and a, and a fucking a freshly born child that just, popped, that just popped out of her pussy. And, and yet she goes to an Usher concert while her husband is at home taking care of their kid and she's all up on the motherfucking, she's all up on Usher, hiking her leg up on him, got her ass up on him and shit, feeling on him. And then yet, and then, um, and then she was, and then she was real ignorant when it came to apologizing about her behavior. When you're a wife, you don't behave like that. You belong to another man. Your last name is his last name. So you don't you don't have the right to really be out there represent you not not only are you representing yourself, but you're representing your fucking unit, which is your family. You're not just representing you when you're a mother and a wife. You're going out and you're representing your husband and you're representing your child. And that's how this bitch, Kiki Palmer, chose to represent herself and her child by hiking her leg up all up on Usher with her butt cheeks out. And, and, then, and then she decides to fucking mock her husband after that shit because her husband called her out on it. You know, but we live in a city girl's like city girl time in history where girls just think it's okay just to they think it's okay to be hoes. And then yet you wonder why Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson broke up. So there's that. Then you got the divorce of of Derek Jackson and his fucking wife. The, the Derek Jackson, the guy the guy who basically gives women all this advice and tells women, well, everything is a man's fault. Well, you know, well, you know, men should be this and men should be that and men should be this. And, and if a woman cheats, it's never her fault. It's always the husband's fault because he should have done more for you. You know, Derek Jackson, basically every girl's go-to when it comes to divorce and shit, and, I mean, when it comes to relationships, his advice is basically blame it all on the man. And this is the fucking dude that women have been following for years. They've been buying his, his bullshit and taking his fucking advice for years because he a big swole dude and chicks like the way that he looks and basically he could tell them anything and they'll motherfucking follow what he says. But yet this motherfucker had bitch after bitch after bitch after bitch showing up at his door. Cheat, yeah, and he was cheating on his wife with all these chicks. But yet he's saying, well, you know, you know, men should be like this and men should be like that. And then you wonder why he's getting a fucking divorce. So he's getting a divorce this year. Um, I'll tell you somebody who ain't got who ain't getting a divorce right now, but who's heading for a divorce, Steve Harvey and his wife Marjorie Harvey. Um, you know, it's been put out there, man, that motherfucking his wife is for the streets. His wife fucked a drug dealer back in the day from Chicago. Motherfucking the that drug dealer got locked up, and then she fucked that drug dealer's cousin and got pregnant by that drug dealer's cousin. But yet this is the guy, I mean, this is the girl who motherfucking Steve Harvey chose. And then recently this bitch got caught fucking Steve Harvey's security guard. 
a fucking swole ass black dude named Big Boom, which is which I find is a very appropriate name for a dude that's fucking somebody else's wife. So Steve Harvey, his wife is getting railed by the goddamn security guard. <laughs> but yet Steve Harvey is another guy that all these women like to follow. So those two are pretty much going to be headed for a divorce soon. But there's that one. Other people who have gotten divorced this year. Tina Knowles and Richard Lawson. If y'all don't know who Tina Knowles is, Tina Knowles is Beyonce's mama. And I don't know if y'all have noticed the way that her mama carries herself, but Beyonce's mama is a bitch. Her mama needs some act right. Her mama treats treats her man treats her man like shit. It's been multiple times where this bitch has been on an interview with her man and she's emasculated this dude in public on camera multiple times. Somebody need to motherfucking check that bitch, but yeah, I see why she got divorced. Beyonce's mama. There you go. A list of another another fucking who else got divorced? Tia Mari and Corey Harding. Tia Mari is that that fucking one of the twins off a of sister sister. Um, she got divorced from Corey Harding. They've been together for like over ten years, and um, and Tia Mari, she's in her forties now, and she putting up all these thirst traps on social media, trying to get other guys to pay attention to her, and it looks pathetic. And, um, yeah, that's another goddamn marriage that got broken up. Sofia Vergara and, and, and Joe Maganello, you know, that that dude that played Al Seed in True Blood? You know, uh, Sofia Vergara, that fine-ass Colombian chick, she divorced from him. Ariana Grande got divorced. Dak Prescott got divorced from his chick. Hugh Jackman, the guy that played Wolverine, he got divorced from his wife. Tiana Taylor, another R&B singer, she got divorced from her husband. Joe Jonas got divorced from his goddamn wife. Goddamn. <laughs> Who else? Reese Witherspoon got divorced from her fucking husband. Motherfucking. And then we just going to go into breakups, man. Fucking Pete Davidson broke up with Kim Kardashian. Ariana Grande broke up with her man. Taylor Swift had two relationships with two different guys this year, Joe Alwyn and Matt Healy. She broke up with two different dudes in one year. Motherfucking Taylor Swift, you know, the one that, I mean, she made her whole entire career off of talking shit about men on records. Um, I'm, and, then she, and then Taylor Swift, as cute, as fine as she is, she can't keep a man to save her fucking life. I'm starting to see like, I mean, you know, she's the common denominator in all these failed relationships. Hell, you know, but yet she's the one that's making all these songs talking about men or this and men or that and, and, and all of that bullshit. So she can't keep a man. And she running through fucking men like motherfucking, like like a new like new pairs of fucking underwear, man. Who else who else got divorced? Tori Spelling got divorced from her husband. You know that bitch from Beverly Hills 90210. So everybody and their mama is getting divorced or breaking up. And um and y'all wonder why I make these videos, right? Look, man, I would love to believe in the magical spell of marriage. You know, you can just find your person and, you know, everything is going to be okay with that one person for the rest of your lives. But nowadays, a, a lot of people aren't built for marriage. And then, you know, especially a lot of women, because with a lot of modern day women, it's like you can't tell them shit. They're not willing to submit, even though they'll say that they submit to their husband and their vows. They're, they they falsely submit. 
it's like they don't really mean that shit when they say it in their vows. And they really don't mean till death do them part. They really mean until until they get tired of you. They don't really want to submit. Um, you know, it, it bothers a lot of them just to even mention that word submission. You know, they just want to look good with a partner because, you know, it it shows that they're not alone. Something you know, They want a ring to show off to their family and show off to their friends. They want a, a fucking man on their arm to show to their family to say, look, I'm not alone. Or show to their homegirls and be like, look, I got somebody. And we look cute together. A man to a lot of women is nothing more than, than an accessory, like a handbag, you know, or some high heels. A man to a lot of women is an accessory. They don't, they're not, they're not built to be, to have the strength and the character that old school women used to have when it comes to marriage. Marriage is not easy. It is not easy. You know, marriage takes sacrifice. Marriage requires marriage requires a lot of patience. And it requires it, it requires giving. You can't just goddamn take 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 and think that well this person is supposed to make all these sacrifices. It's a two-way street. And the way that a lot of modern day chicks are made they're very unilateral when it comes to sacrificing. They expect a man to do all the sacrificing. Provide, oh, the man, provide, protect, do this, do that. Oh, a man's supposed to be this, a man's supposed to be that. And this is why so many modern day women have a problem when you ask them what they bring to the table. They legitimately get mad when you ask that question. And you ask these questions because in case you get married, like some of these people on this list, it would fucking, it would help to know what they actually bring to the table. Hey, but you know, don't, don't, hey, Lord forbid I say anything because, oh, you know, oh, oh, you're, you're a misogynist and, and I'm not a misogynist, dude. I'm like, I want marriage to be real i want that shit to be real but based off the fucking statistics based off the numbers i'm looking at man um that seemed like a disney fairy tale that doesn't last for the majority of people you know that that's all i got to say man everybody and their mama divorcing everybody and their mama breaking up and um Shout out to Dr. Dre because he fucking divorced his fucking wife. He been with that bitch for like over 20 years. And this bitch tried to fucking get him for like 200, give him for $2 million a month in alimony. And, and, you know, of course he got better lawyers than that bitch. And of course he don't have to break her off that much, but he still got to pay a good amount. But when it comes to marriage, I ask you, fellas, I ask you. And keep in mind, when you get married to a chick, they feel like they don't have to try as, as hard. This is why when you get married to, to the average woman out here, they get fat once you put the ring on their finger. They stop fucking you as much when you put the ring on their finger. They start getting more fly at the mouth once you put the ring on their finger because Marriage to a woman, a marriage ring to a woman is like, is equivalent to a guy winning the Super Bowl. Once they get that ring, they feel like they don't have to try as hard. And that's where the down, the, the downfall starts right there when it comes to marriage. So this is why I'm not so quick to get married. I'm just saying, look at the numbers, look at the stats. That's all I got to say. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. <laughs> Shit. That's all I got to say. It's your boy Doc out. Peace.